Brothers and sisters, if I place the question on the floor in front of this great congregation that stated, who wants to be great for God? Or who wants to do something great for God? I'm sure everyone in here that is a believer would raise their hands. Because if you know God, you know He is a great God. You cannot be connected to God and not want to do something great for God. Matter of fact, let, let, let me see. Who wants to be or do something great for God? Not show of hands. Well, God bless you for raising your hand. Because you just agreed with the word of God. When he said greater things, greater works you can do in my But brothers and sisters, I wonder if I told you what it takes to be great. And what it takes to do something great for God. Would you still raise your hand? And to be great for God, it requires suffering. I'm not going to sugarcoat it with you. If you want to reign with Him, you must suffer with Him. Peter said, For as much then as Christ has suffered for us in the flesh, arm yourselves likewise with the same mind. For he that suffered in the flesh has ceased from sin. He went on to say, but let not your suffering, but let not you suffer, excuse me, as a murderer. But let not you suffer as a thief or an evildoer or as a body or as a busybody in other man's matters. Yet if any man suffers as a Christian, let him not be ashamed, but let him glorify God. On this behalf. Brothers and sisters, to be great for God not only requires suffering, but it also requires sacrifice. Romans 1 12 1 said, I beseech you, brother. I beg you, brother, by the mercy of God, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice. See, brothers and sisters, true worship is to present your bodies a living sacrifice unto God. And this sacrifice is not a forced sacrifice. But this sacrifice is a free will sacrifice. You want to have to put yourself on the cross if you want to be great for Jesus. See, brothers and sisters, one of the issues in our community is that the older has stopped sacrificing for the young. 
Amen. 